Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys know I've been on a string of reviewing new products and today we're going to be reviewing this dip powder kit from Gershon. As you guys can see, this is a pretty large kit that you get. And so when you lift up that first compartment, it does come with a card, which is really pretty. It also comes with traditional nail forms in case you want to use the dip powder as acrylic, which you can. It also comes with this 100 and 180 grit nail file. Then it also comes with this little brush to help you be able to swipe off the dip powder. It comes with this little orange wood cuticle stick so that you can kind of clean up your cuticles so they don't get flooded. It also comes with an instruction manual, one side for dip and the other side for using it for acrylic applications. And then it also comes with a rose cuticle oil. And it just comes that little convenient little brush on um, applicator. So when you get the kit, it does come with a primer. It also comes with the base coat. Then it comes with your activator, your top coat, and a brush cleaner to clean your brush. Now, you guys can see these jars are really big. I went ahead and took off the protective layer. That was a really pretty soft pink. It also comes with this more peachy pink color. It comes with this beautiful burgundy, and I showed you guys the cap just because the cap looked like that even though it had the protective layer on it. And then this really pretty red. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna be doing it today on full cover tips, so I went ahead and applied those and I also buffed them. I'm just gonna take a little spoon and I'm gonna go ahead and mix up that powder just so that I know that all the pigment is, you know, evenly dispersed. And I have to say this color was gorgeous. As soon as I saw it, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that second step, which is the base coat. If you were gonna be applying this to like your natural nails or tips, you would use the primer first, but you guys know I don't keep my nails on very long, so I'm not doing that, but I do highly recommend you do that step. I went ahead and grabbed like a little measuring cup and I'm using a spoon to kind of just Instead of me dipping, I'm kind of pouring the powder over my nail, and I find that this gives me a very even coverage. You're going to let the powder sit on your nails for a second, and then you're going to brush it away. And since we're doing all the same color today, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do that on my other nails. You guys, fun fact, I actually started off with dip. Like, when I really got into doing nails this year, dip was my favorite, like my go-to i used to buy all the dip powder kits from walmart and honestly i don't know what happened but amazon dip kits used to be so much more expensive i promise you when i was doing dip powder nails i have never seen a dip powder kit that was this affordable like ever so the fact that these kits are so affordable and you get so much product i am literally so surprised because i remember i could not find an affordable dip powder kit they were all like 50 60 bucks and i remember i actually went to sally's and bought a dip powder kit and i think the kit that i got was like 30 dollars, and it literally was so small compared to this kit like you didn't get half the things in that kit that you do in this one. So this to me was definitely worth the buy. I want to say I paid like $14 for this, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Of course, I will leave all of the product links down below so you guys can get your hands on this one. Um, but yeah, I really love how this worked. I love the method that I took as far as me pouring the powder onto my nails because I felt like that really gave me a nice, smooth, even coverage. I was able to see my nails from all different angles and that was really nice. Um, and also this brush worked really well. It does feel, feel a little like cheapy at first, but you have to remember it's not a makeup brush. It is a brush for your nails and it worked perfectly fine to take off the excess powder. And as you guys can see, so that was the first layer. I am going back in and I'm going to apply another layer. 
And the thing I can say that I like about applying the dip powder to full cover nail tips is that because most full cover nail tips are a little bit stronger than traditional tips, I don't feel like I have to really build up a huge amount of thickness to get support. Now, I think I used the four coats for these nails, but honestly, I did that so that when it came down to filing, I would be able to file my nails into the way that I liked without me kind of like filing too much. So yeah, these are really, really nice. Um, I highly recommend these full cover nail tips. These ones are the tapered square from the Attitude Shop and I am obsessed with them. They are so good. If you guys have not, could not tell, like I think I've already used these in like three videos so far and I'm in no rush to go back to any other nail shape. I know I'm boring, but like these tapered square just makes me feel like it makes me feel like I got my nails like professionally done. I feel like they look so good. I hadn't realized how over coffin nails I was or how much I did them until I got these tips and it's a slight difference, but it does make a huge difference. And you guys, as you will see, I do have my container sitting on top of a paper towel just in case I have a spill like I did. Um, I ended up having like two cups of coffee today and literally my hands were so shaky. Like it was ridiculous. So the cool thing about doing this on top of a paper towel is I can just fold it and then put it right back into the container. So yes, it looks extremely messy and I was going to fix it, but I wanted to tell you guys that like, yes you can still use the powder that you spill. Just make sure that, you know, obviously there's no debris or anything weird on your paper towel. And as you guys will see, I do apply a lot of powder on top. That is just so that there's no gaps, there's nowhere where the glue is not gonna be sticking to the powder. I try to make sure that I get it as full coverage as possible. But yeah guys, let me know how you feel about these dip videos. Um, I do have, I think another dip powder kit coming soon. And yeah, I don't know, I haven't done dip in so long that like I literally forgot how much I loved it. And now that I use them on the full cover tips, I definitely think that this is the way that I'm going to be doing it from here on out because my nails looked so good. Like, they turned out so good. They look so much better than any of the dip nails I did before. Like, <laughs> I wish I had pictures. If I can find pictures, I'll insert them into the video. But yeah, I really like how these turned out. These were so good and... Yeah, you guys definitely have to get this kit. It's so affordable and they actually have so many other kits that I had no idea about. Like they have so many other colors and what I love is that they're not traditional colors. Like you're not just getting the nude and the whites and the pinks. They have like greens and purples and oranges and like obviously this kit has like a bright red, a burgundy, you know, so you really do get some good quality, you know, stuff with these kits. This is really nice. Okay, so after I applied my four coats of the dip, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the activator. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to switch my brushes out for the brush saver. I'm going to put my dirty uh, base coat brush into the brush saver and then I'm going to put that brush top into the base coat <laughs> and then we just do a switcheroo. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my applicator and as you can see it does stain the brush and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a nice coat making sure that I get the whole entire nail because what this is going to do is this is going to make sure that before you file that all of the glue and all the layers are completely dry because the worst thing you want to do is start filing and get into some gummy patches it will just ruin your whole nail look so this step is definitely very crucial. Alright, and this is after I filed them. You guys, look at this shape. 
like this tapered square is everything <laughs> so what you're going to do after you file is you're going to go back in with that app with that same um applicator is that what it's called yeah <laughs> you're going to go back through with the activator not applicator the activator <laughs> what the activator and you're going to make sure that your nails again are completely dry and yeah this was actually really easy to file i feel like this was my most like easiest filing that i've ever done with dip nails so now we're gonna go on to the jewels i am going for a matte nail look today so i'm applying what's left of my rhinestone glue don't worry i have a new one coming this week but i'm gonna go ahead and top that off with some nat nail polish on top of that and for this nail look, for the crystals, I was going for something really like sleek and elegant. I wanted a classy nail look. I didn't want to do too much or too little. And I'm just going to go ahead and use these little rivets. These have been my favorite, you guys. You're going to get so sick of me because I really love doing my nails like this. Like it to me, it's so intricate and so beautiful. And I feel like when I was getting my nails done, like by a professional, I never had these options and I don't know if it's just what happened over the past few years or what but like just the things that you can do to your nails are like that's amazing it's so freaking cool and I do I want to go ahead and apologize in advance you guys it is really hard to capture all of this on camera there were so many times where i was out of focus trying to do this or where like i just took me way too long to apply the stones like right here for my thumb i'm gonna apply a swarovski crystal and then i decide to add on another crystal on top of that and then i end up just changing the whole nail design period so <laughs> i kept it in because this was like the clearest clip of me applying the crystals to my nails even though i didn't end up going with this design Okay, so once all the jewels are on, I'm just going to go ahead and use that rose cuticle oil. I did like this. I do prefer my cuticle oil over this one just because this was a little bit on the thinner side, but it smelled really, really good. It had a very nice rose smell. And yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys love these nails as much as I did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.